and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147. Happy 6th of December, everybody. Um, I hope everybody is doing well, fine and dandy. And I do have something to share today. Um, for any of you that have followed me for a while, I did a thing. I actually finished my Christmas cross stitch. I finished all the back stitching, which was a headache in itself. This chart was so complicated, but I have finished. I have got all my back stitch done. I did start this or start again doing the back stitch. I'd done a few little sections down here, but I hadn't really done a lot. Um, I did decide to pull it out again a couple of days ago and I was like I'm not saying anything because if I say something for some reason I won't get it finished um, but I had a couple of evenings where I just put my diamond painting on hold and I finished my Christmas scene I figured it's it's been two years that this has been on the go it needed to get finished um, so my plan is I think today I'm going to give this um, like a light wash. It is using DMC threads, so I'm going to give this a wash, dry it and hopefully see if I've got a frame. If not, I might have to pick up a frame for it. But yeah, I finished my Christmas cross stitch. So I can go back to doing my diamond painting now, which makes me happy as well. It has been loitering that cross stitch for what feels like forever. But yeah, down to a day six. I think because I've been doing this whip and waffle, I have still had my diamond painting fix, um, which has definitely helped with me doing the cross stitch at night. I've not felt like I've been missing out due to um, not diamond painting because I've been able to do this. Just having a little reshuffle of these ones because, well, this one I did really bad at placing it in the right place. Oh, then again, I might have shuffled it up the last one I did, which is probably what made it so bad. Let's pop those back. So we're back for number six. I'm using a tray today from April 2022. I do have them labelled on the bottom. So I actually know when I did them. Uh, so this is the large tray, uh, the Add More Zest tray from April 2022. And I'm using a pen that was gifted to me by P. Jelly. So thank you so much for that. It is a handmade one. Let's get my diamonds out. Probably far too many for what I need. And let's get comments and questions up actually. Get them all loaded. Zoom you in and we can start diamond painting. I am loving the comments people are putting about whether they have managed to finish their diamond painting at the same time as me and little steps they've taken to try and make sure it happens. It makes me smile. Uh, there we go. Ready to diamond paint. I think I'm all in frame. Start with my bottom row. Get my nice row of diamonds. All my pens at the minute have glue dots in. Uh, I think it might be from June Waffle. I go through my different pens uh, during June Waffle as well. And I got glue dots in, I think, all of them. And some of them are still really rather tacky, which is good. Uh, okay, peaches and diamonds. She says, hi, Rebecca. She says, a great whip and waffle. She said she loved watching me work on the mittens. So 
so I am still on comments from day two. I'm catching up slowly, slowly but surely. Um, she said she uses my bag and book rings for her ABs and sparklers. Uh, she, and she says, and whatnot. She says, but she's acquired um, so many that the ease of them having them right in front of me doesn't outweigh the clutter factor. She said, any suggestions on another way to store them, but to keep them in sight and mind? Um, she said she knows that was a lot, but she's at a loss of what to do with all of them. A uh, few different sort of options spring to my mind for dealing with that. I, I get what you're saying. I need things like ABs and stuff to be pretty much in front of me. At the minute, they're to the right of me, and I feel like I forget them often enough. Um, I work better with things being right in front of me if I can help it. Um, but I do also get what you mean about the clutter. So there's a couple of things that sort of spring to mind as a potential solution. So one is to either store them a different way. So maybe like if you've got quite a few, store them like your spare DMC, but have, you know, one out front and centre to remind you to then go into the box. Another thing is to work with sort of an open basket container prettiness so that they are contained, maybe not so much like the spare drills with the lid on the top, but in some sort of pretty basket where you can still flip through them and see them, but they don't feel as cluttered because they're tidy in said basket. Um, or maybe you have a shelf and you could pop them up in the same bags on a shelf. Um, I have mine hanging off a pegboard and they are actually all... Um, this is, this is empty bags, but they're all of that orientation rather than that orientation. Um, hung up on a pegboard. And I can still see some of the, the AB diamond colours, especially on the ones that are um, fuller. So it can be enough to prompt me. So a bit like books on a shelf and pop them like that. Um, the other thing is to make yourself maybe a card, a reference card or sheet or something pretty with all your ABs on uh, so that you have one or two of your ABs all on a reference sheet and that's what stays in front of you to remind you to use them but then you actually store the ABs somewhere else. That's what I can think of off the top of my head as a few different ways. It's hard to know exactly when I don't know what your specific setup is. You know, your craft space and what room you have. And I've tipped out far too many diamonds for my tray. They've all gone into the spout and are coming out again if I knock it even more. That's the only thing with this storage is you can tip out, in effect, far too many diamonds, which I don't mind when I'm working on a big one, but it's very hard to get just a few. Um, she also says, she says, hello again, Rebecca. She says she is also in a dilemma. This is peaches and diamonds again. Uh, she said, so for the first five days of Advent, she said she is on vacation. So she will have no problem finishing a square a day. She said, however, once she goes back to work and other commitments, she said it's going to be really hard 
so she thought on about the night of the 5th, she says, before she goes back to work, uh, maybe just doing the outlines of the next few days. She said, and then she does the middle of the days and then do it again on her day off. She really wants to finish at the same time as everybody else on the 24th, 25th. Oh, I like that idea. So if you're able to get a little bit of time, but maybe not the full time um, to complete a full section. So you've not got, say, an hour, a bit more than an hour to finish the full thing. Then, yeah, get it tipping your greys out, doing all the outlines around the outside. And maybe if you find that's a struggle, you could potentially do the background as well of an image so for example on this one do the yellow background but leave the bauble and the number as the part that you do on the day um, a lot of it really does depend on how much time that you have I would play with a couple of those options you've always got time to catch up potentially on your days off if you find it doesn't work for you so I think doing the outlines is a great suggestion. Try doing the outlines first. If you find you're still struggling for time, then maybe do the backgrounds as well. And then you just do the actual item. So in this case, the bauble. Uh, yesterday's case, you do the robin on the actual day of the advent and then you're still getting some me time you're just getting more on your day off and it's an excuse to do more as well which I like the idea of myself um, it would be a nice way to sort of frame it out as well the only thing would be covering it so of course if you did just the outlines then Covering it would be quite easy um, because it's got this whole square space to stick to. Whereas if you did um, the background as well, you may find, unless you've got somewhere that you can permanently keep it flat, you may find that um, the colours, the, the cover paper or whatever you're using lifts depending on the size of the design. But yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea as a potential alert. Nice little workaround. Uh, Joanna, she says she is joy enjoying the Advent Diamond painting. She says she's doing it one day ahead uh, so that it will be done on Christmas Eve. She says she's bordering each square with cover paper for that particular day. She said it's enough to keep her from uh, diamond wandering <laughs> and completing the whole painting. Oh yes, yeah, that's another idea. So keep the clear cover sheet on, but then when you go to do a section, outline it with pieces of cover paper just around these edges. Say to stop you diamond wandering. Because that's what I do with big ones. In effect, I just do two rows of cover paper and I leave the clear cover on the rest. And it's enough to make me stay where I am. I don't look that far, you know, I don't look more than a piece of cover sheet above um, to see if I can place any more diamonds. Uh, Marsha, she says, what is your formula for finding total drills, she says, for round and squares. Uh, so my formula, it was advised to me, it is a rough formula, it's not an exact. So if you do want the exact sort of number of diamonds, you would need to get quite a bit more particular and use uh, decimal places. But for a rough idea, the one I use is I times the width of my canvas by the length of my canvas and then I times that by 14 for rounds and 16 for squares 
and that's what gets me my rough calculation um, for my logbook anyway. Uh, Crystal says she's having such a great time. So that's good. I think it was Jackie posted in the group the other day. Um, it, it was a longer post, but it was along the lines of if people are feeling a bit more flat this year and a bit more flat around Christmas and stuff, um, to not forget what we've been through in the last two years. So we've only really since covid sort of started to get our lives back fully um this year of course we've had pretty much two full years of covid potential restrictions and even if restrictions were lifted for certain things or you were able to see family it's it's not been the same life in general has not been the same for a couple of years and it can be a bit of a a bit of a shock to the system the fact that while it is still about um, life is returning to normal a lot more but after two years it can take a long time to realize what normal is again because it's a new kind of normal um, it's, it's a post that says she's transferred, I think she shared, um, that somebody else had written somewhere. Uh, it's very well written, but it's good that we have this to enjoy and to help give us that bit of Christmas spirit that I do think can wane. Um it can wane even not having young kids as well. In, I mean, I'm really looking forward to Australia and the Christmas Day we have in Australia in the fact that the children are younger. So they have that, that mad Christmas magic. Um, whereas here, our, our kids and indeed the extended family we've not quite got my husband's side of the family we've not quite got that Christmas magic yet uh, my niece did have a son last year uh, but he's only just turning one near Christmas so he's not quite at the age where everything is magical and there's the Christmas excitement not the same as there will be next year and the year after and the year after that. Um, so I think that can make Christmas not quite the same as well. Doesn't mean it's wrong, but it's not the same. Uh, so I think us having our own little bit of Christmas, Christmas child excitement is a good thing. So I'm really glad that you are enjoying it, Crystal. Uh, Nelly, she says it is, uh, it's nice to be able to do an advent, she said, along, alongside you. She says she does hers um, after watching me do mine for a little while. She says, please enjoy uh, your holiday in Australia with your family. Thank you. Um, Nelly also says she says she has lots of rounds in her square diamond painting. Oh, there we go. We're sharing diamonds across the board. Uh, Nancy, she says, thank you, Rebecca. She says day two was fun. She said she had... Uh, she said, had me early this morning. It was 6.30 a.m. on December the 3rd. She said as she was out with her girlfriends exploring a Christmas market, having a festive lunch and admiring the lights 
and the architecture, she said, of a big city near us. She said, a great day for sure. She said, now she is off to open her day three, a brown paper bag. Awesome. Uh, jo said, she's loving this kit. Life has been crazy this week, she says, so she's glad for a little bit of me time. Glad we could help you get get your me time in. Um, Sarah Jane, she said, um, oh, this was on the new shop items, sorry. Uh, comments can sometimes come in so thick and fast, I miss comments from other things. Uh, but she did say that she bets the glitter diamond tray that we launch this Friday is nicer in person. She said, the one your hubby gave away. Yes, hubby posted some pictures of the 3D printers um, because we did just switch around basically where and how they are in the conservatory. And one of them did have the purple glitter tray on the printer. At least he didn't release it when we first started printing those trays, which was quite a while ago. Uh, but yeah, the purple glitter tray is gorgeous in person. It's really, really nice. Uh, we're really excited for some of the colours coming up over the next few months. Uh, Molly, she says she loves this Advent Diamond painting. Thank you. I'm loving it too. Even the pop of yellow. It will not go with the decoration scheme in my house, but it will be going up. It will be going up every Christmas. While it's different, I don't think it's too different that it can't fit in with the spirit of Christmas. And I just love the colours together. Uh, <laughs> Susan, she said, oops, she said, I had a little spill. She says, see the Facebook group? I think I did see this post, Susan. She said, but thanks to the advent calendar, it was no problem. She said, having fun on day three. Love from Canada. So, yeah, Susan did post. She did manage to spill some drills. However, day two of the 24-day advent um, was a little mini diamond painting dust pan and brush uh, for you to brush up any diamonds that you spill and enable them to put enable you to put them back into your pot so I'm glad it got used so quickly um, ah Dorothy so Dorothy has said she said she has the squares um, with the black ones stuck together, which I did mention the other day. But what she said she did is she used two dryer sheets, so two full dryer sheets. She added the diamonds to one, so she tipped her black diamonds onto the dryer sheet, covered the diamonds with the second dryer sheet, so diamond sandwich, uh, and she used a rolling pin to separate them. She said it worked really well. She said shaking in a bottle didn't work as well for her. So there you go. Put that kitchen utensil to good use um, and roll over your diamonds with a rolling pin. And give that a go. Uh, Sarah Jane, she says she can't believe that the black trays were last December. She said the time has flown. It has flown this year, 2022. And I think that is partly due to, it's, you know, the world getting back to normal or to our new normal. Um, I think it has meant that, of course, rather than time being very slow and there's not going out much, not doing stuff as much in 2021. I think that has made 2022 seem to fly. The fact that we have all been busier 
um, trying to find our new normal. And I think it, it potentially will take well into 2023 for us to find out what our new normal is. Um, it may be the same as what it was prior to, what was it, March of 2020, um, February, March of 2020. It, it may be very similar to that, but it also could be a very different to that and I think it just it takes time to get used to it. it takes 30 days to form a habit and we had two years to form some habits that now will probably take a couple of years to get out of um, Alaya she said she was waiting for the video um, on the third she said as soon as this was up she was at her desk with her pen in hand Love it. Absolutely love it. It's that level of excitement. I think we all need it. Uh, Kathy said she's having so much fun working on her advent calendar. Uh, she also says she is loving her advent box as well. There's been advent talk in this house again today um, and potential preparations and how early they will need to start to meet and try and exceed potential quantities wanted um yeah the cog the cogs are turning all feedback we've had so far has been fantastic so the cogs are already turning um and i've, I've already actually got some samples that are due today for a potential um yeah and we will be planning advent extremely early and starting the prep work because it is a lot of work the advent it was seven days constant trying to meet those pre-orders for those 12 days um and of course it will be a lot more than pre-orders will be doing so we are yeah we are working like Trojans to try and spread out the work that needs doing so that we can meet demand for next year. Already got things on the go. Rather excited. Sticking with samples at the moment, just in case we get to the end of December and everybody's like, nah, don't want one next year. <laughs> But it's trying to make sure that things are different as well. That takes that takes time and planning. Um, is to yeah try and make things as different as possible, as well as yeah value for money for you guys for sure. Woo! Pretty. I love the yellow background. I really do. Uh, Jordan she says she's loving watching everyone do this advent calendar. Uh, she's not doing an advent this year because she's had to make more time for schoolwork and a job. She says she feels as though, I think it's a she. Yeah, it's got a Y in it. I'm pretty sure that makes it a she. Apologies if you're not. Uh, feel as if they're a first year teacher, even though they're not. <laughs> So the teacher over the special education class they've been in for four years has no experience working in special education. So with that being said, uh, she's been planning the kids' days and work and crafts and daily living skills since the beginning of this year. And she does plan on diamond painting alongside everyone. Uh, when... She gets her downtime. Love everything you do and love um, seeing everybody participate. I can imagine that is a lot of work. Teaching and the planning and everything, you know, to get ready for lessons can take a long time in itself. Um, when you're also then working in special education, which has different needs, um, different needs to 
a mainstream school but then in turn different needs in effect per pupil um could be a lot of hard work a lot of hard work um and yeah fighting that sort of battle what can feel like on your own just try and carve out some me time even if you can't diamond paint jordan just whether that be a nice soak in the tub um or or something something else self-care wise going out for a drink with friends even if it's just for an hour because you've had a busy day try and carve out that little bit of time in some other way if you haven't got the time to sit and diamond paint try and feel alive this christmas and then as soon as the holidays hit um i know there'll be prep time that you'll still need to do but definitely carve out more me time uh, lady dax she said she cheated today uh, she said she did hers early so that she could watch and listen to the video she says well p jelly she said really did mix up the things she said she added to my 12 day calendar um, so she bought the 12 day advent from us and then p jelly bought her 12 other bits and mixed them all in uh, she says so tomorrow is going to be her first add more zest one she'll open so it's going to be day four before she gets one of our bits uh, but she is loving the things that p jelly got her too that is a nice it's a nice way to do it i reckon she really enjoyed it as well p jelly picking all the little bits that she was going to get you i'd love to see what other bits you've got as well might give us some ideas for potentially for next year's calendar might spark those those thoughts because while i have loads of thoughts uh getting 24 thoughts can take can take a bit of doing uh liz she says thanks for this rebecca she says she too is found finding a few little rogue squares in with her rounds keeping her on her toes uh, she said she did manage to pick up a 12-day calendar from an Etsy seller um, who was selling cover minders. So she's opening them from the 1st to the 12th of December and then she's opening our calendar from the 13th to the 24th. Uh, she says being ready, she also sourced another diamond painting advent of 24 days. She says she loves getting up in the morning to open her advent and can't wait until the 13th. Uh, she says she's put her tree up today. It's partially decorated, but pain stopped her from doing any more. Well, partially decorated is fine. We had our tree up with zero decorations for at least 24 hours, if not a little bit more. Uh, because the tree arrived and we wanted to see what it looked like but we weren't allowed to decorate it until Catherine was home so we had a plain tree up uh, for 24 hours and then once Catherine came home we got down the decorations and pretty much the kids did most of the tree to be fair they even put the lights on this year which was great because normally that's my job uh, I was able to go around the house placing little bits doing my kitchen shelves my shelves in my kitchen um, never had those last year so I was able to go and get those looking all Christmassy and get different bits popped up and pop some of the decorations around the house um, while they decorated the tree Luna still keeps sniffing it every now and then tries to check if it's edible every now and then uh, but we haven't tested putting any presents under it yet. That could be fun. We might need to find another place to store Christmas presents wrapped. We might have to see how she goes with one. I'd be tempted to test it with one of hers, but one of her presents that have arrived so far is dog treats. And I think the smell might just be too tempting for her. 
if we decided to pop that one under the tree. Um, Dharma Lady, she says, since you have done most of the work for this calendar already, she said in relation to the charting, colour selection, etc. She said you should just bring this calendar back every year for Christmas. She says that nothing that says this has to be just for 2022. Um, and she's just saying that because she wants one. Uh, we might look at doing that. Um, it's not a no. Nothing is a, is a never. Um, we will see what we are sort of like. And I may do a run um, of each of our diamond paintings. So Zesty Wolf and Advent. Um, as a little extra while we're ordering if we are ordering one for next year, um, just so that we have some, so that people have the chance to grab some if they did miss out um, and can still do some. If, at the minute, a lot of it is storing them. It is, it is not that, you know, when we ordered, we ordered, when we placed our second order, uh, we were, of course, air freighting them in. Um, due to time frame which increased costs to us um, and it increased costs per per box that we ordered per x amount it increased the cost um, so while we ordered enough in for pre-orders and then over ordered by about a box um, it wasn't practical to do even more than that um, that's why we did pre-orders to make sure that we got everybody that um, was early enough um, to get one. So maybe when we, when, if we do another one, we might get some in of the previous years and give you a few little options maybe we'll 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 keep that in the back of our mind as a potential uh, i know there's somebody i think that's been working on zesty wolf this year so not everybody did zesty wolf for last year's advent and it does still get worked on at different times but yeah never say never never say never I'm tempted to just do these three, seven, nine, because there's only three of them, and I have visions of me forgetting them because they're such a dark symbol. And my glue dot's really sticky, so I was able to just dip in. Uh, what do I want now on this dot? I'll go back to working to the most bottom colour now. Um so yeah, stay tuned, Dharma Lady. We may well get some more in for next year. We will see what we can do. Uh, All Things Crafty by Kaz. She says she is loving her advent box so far. Uh, she has, she keeps, she's having to keep herself from opening the rest, she said, but the pull is strong. Uh, the pull has got a few people already, just just saying. Uh, everybody is being absolutely amazing and not spoiling things for those that are um, resisting the pull, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you for, um, if you, you know, give in to temptation, not showcasing it all uh, she says but she is resisting uh, she says the painting she loves she says she has blinged it up a little bit more by adding AB310 in the numbers that are black and in the spots where there are 310 yeah you can add things as much as you need to I'm just having a quick look um, at 
when things were given out for some things. So in the 24 day, I think I'm safe. Let me check. Yes. So for the 24 day advent, um, which everybody should have opened now because this was for day three. Um, there was some AB diamonds in there uh, in round and we did ensure that when we picked a colour for the diamonds for the 24 day we actually picked a colour that was in this painting. It's actually this um, degree symbol, uh, not degree, divide symbol. So if you have the round then your diamonds will fit. If not, it's just a gorgeous colour that you could potentially add to a future painting. Um, but we did try and make sure that we that we not only matched a colour that was in the painting, but that we did it early enough that you could add it to your painting if you had the round and if you wanted to. Um, you may, if you wanted it all over the painting, you may have needed to change something in day one and day two, but we're just trying to spread things out the best way we could that would make sense um, and to keep the excitement levels going for different things. Yeah, it was a complicated process. It's a complicated process. Uh, but yeah, I love, you can still add more ABs. There is a little bit of ABs in each. If you like more bling, then add more bling. It's the same with any painting. And that's what I like, how you can put your stamp on it by blinging it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, just doing more because why not? Uh, Anne Smith says the snowman is cute. He is cutie matuti. Uh, Crystal, she said, speaking of a huge waffle, she said she listened to the one that was almost five hours after Advent last year. Yeah, that was you guys and your comments. That's what did, I mean, don't get me wrong, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it, but... Um, yeah, I think I did a really long waffle after Advent going through the rest of everybody's Advent comments and questions. I mean, we're on day six now. I'm on comments from day three. So quite often each video does have more comments than I can answer. And it took me that five hour waffle to catch up with the comments. I just can't do it this year because of going to Australia. So I will once, at some point while I'm in Australia probably, um, when I have a bit of downtime, I will go through reacting to everybody's comments so that you guys know I've read it and answering any questions that I can um, on on your actual YouTube comments, so it should come through to you on email that I've replied. Um, Jeanette, she said, day three of Advent, she said, oops, I couldn't resist anymore, so she opened it all. Jeanette, you're not the only one. I've had an email confession. Over the last few days, I've had a couple of email confessions about opening it all. Uh, she said, so she's opened it all. She said she was overwhelmed with joy with everything. She says now she's just going to do her chocolate advent calendar for the rest of December. Well, at least you've got a backup, even if it's not quite lots of presents backup, but you have a backup. Um, I'm glad you are enjoying it. I'm glad everybody is liking their advent calendars. Makes me so happy. Because while I, you know, while there is that level that I am happy with what was in everything, you never know how everybody else is going to feel. So it always makes me wonder 
will they, won't they? This glue dot needs a bit of dumbing down. Uh, cross stitch and tack. She says she has just got back from her first uh, Santa and Mrs. Uh, at the Air Force Base thrift shop, she said, where they gave out toys that were donated to military families. Uh, she says she keeps dry, trying to join the Facebook group, she says, but she hasn't been approved yet. Um, the Facebook group, I, I, I'm often on there approving member requests every, at least, I try and get to them at least every day, if not sometimes multiple times a day, if not I shouldn't take more than 72, uh, 24, 48 hours to be approved for the Facebook group, however you do need to tick that box saying that you agree to the rules which is basically to play nice and no spam. If you haven't agreed to the rules, that might be why you've not been approved into the group, because that's what the criteria is, um, is that you do need to agree to the rules. And the main reason for that is not that we expect people not to, but we can't in effect say to somebody you're not playing nice if we haven't told them to play nice in the first place like you know uh it, it's very very rare i have had a couple of people that have been kicked from the group though to be fair they were mainly companies uh companies from um far away lands let's say it that way far away lands um, that just try to join the group to spam with their business um, which I'm happy for people to share things from other businesses that they've got I'm happy for people to comment and reply and recommend other companies when a question is asked I'm even happy for people to recommend their own company if they can fulfill the needs of the question asked um, but they need to be a part of the group in effect and not just there to promote their business and nothing else so we ask everybody to agree to the rules and even though I am sure that you are not going to try and spam the group we do need that tick of approval for you to be able to join because we can't turn around to them and say you can't do this if they say I didn't know I couldn't do this so just make sure that you have agreed to the rules um for your approval to be a yay yay uh she also says she started today's painting but she needed a nap <laughs> she said after four hours of posing for photos can wear you out she said i'll have a nap and then i'll finish love it there are some people in this house about i think it's the three girls no maybe lewis as well actually they love a good nap uh she said great chat today and merry christmas to you all I can't nap. If I nap, my day's done. I am fit for nothing when I wake up from said nap and I may as well have just gone to bed and had a full sleep. So, but yeah, day six is done. So exciting. Uh, day six is done. We're down here for day seven. Um, so I hope you'd camera. I hope you'll join me for tomorrow's day seven. I keep having a lot. Oh, we've got a black background. So we'll test out those black drills, whether you're doing square or round. But thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.